Autodesk Maya is an amazing piece of software with a much less amazing price tag. $1,800 a year for a piece of software is just insane, especially if you're just trying to get to learn the software. That being said, depending on your use case, you might be able to get Maya for completely free. And if not free, you can definitely get it for a lot cheaper. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, firstly, if you are a student of any kind, whether or not you're in middle school, high school, college, trade school, whatever, then you can get Maya for absolutely free. Go ahead, I put a link in the description to the Maya student website, and then it should bring you to this page, and then all you need to do is click student, get products, then scroll down here to individual, and then click on whatever software you're trying to get. So in this case, it'll be Maya. And then it's just going to ask you for some basic info, like your email, educational institution, and educational verification. And then educational verification is super easy. They're just going to ask you for like a transcript or some form of proving that you are a student currently. And then once you send that away, you should get something back relatively quickly, like no more than a day probably. I've heard some people have it instantaneous, some people have to wait like a day or so, but then you'll have a one-year license to all Autodesk products. The only thing about student accounts is you do have to reactivate them every single year, and along with that, you cannot use these accounts for any sort of commercial use. This means if you are a student and you are planning on making a game to make money, then you will sadly not be able to use this license or else Maya is allowed to sue you. Which brings us to our next license, which is if you are either not a student or you're a student trying to do a monetized product, you can get an indie license. Once again, I put a link in the description that's going to take you to the Maya Indie page. And what Maya Indie is, is just a cheaper version of Maya for independent developers. Go ahead, go to that page. And now let's look at whether or not you are eligible. So there's a few requirements to qualify for an Indie Maya account. Firstly, your annual gross revenue from creative work does have to be under $100,000 a year. Now this is purely creative work, which means if you're working a job on the side, like some sort of a business job or something that's not related to the creative field, you are good to go. Secondly, you can't use this product on any project that is valued over $100,000. Thirdly, only one license can be used per user or organization, so you can't be sharing the license around. And then lastly, the offer is only available in select countries, so make sure your country qualifies. If we go ahead and click here where it says Buy Maya Indie, it'll go ahead and take us to our shopping cart with an account in it, and you will see it is $305. But you know, when you compare it to the normal $1,800 price tag that Maya charges, $300's not looking so bad. Now that you have your license, you might want to learn how to actually use Maya. If you do, you can go ahead and click this video right here, where you can learn all of the basics of navigating Autodesk Maya. Or you can click on the playlist on the screen to see an entire playlist of how to go from knowing absolutely nothing to making your own optimized game-ready models ready to go into any game engine. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!